Deuteronomy 14, 22 to 29. And this is about tithing. Be sure to set aside a tenth of all that your fields produce each year. Eat the, the tithe of your grain, new wine and olive oil, and the firstborn of, the, of, the, of, the, of your herds and flocks in the presence of the Lord your God at the place he will choose as a dwelling for his name, so that you may learn to revere the Lord your God always. But if that place is too distant and you have been blessed by the Lord your God and cannot carry your tithe, because the place where the Lord will choose to put his name is too far away, then exchange your tithe for silver and take the silver with you and go to the place the Lord your God will choose. Use the silver to buy whatever you'd like, cattle, sheep, wine, or other fermented drink, or anything you wish. Then you and your household shall eat there in, in the presence of the Lord your God and rejoice. And do not neglect the Levites living in your towns for they have no allotment or inheritance of their own. At the end of every three years, bring all the tithes of the year's produce and store it in your towns, so that the Levites, who have no allotment or inheritance of their own, and the foreigners, the fatherless and the widows who live in your towns may come and eat and be satisfied, and so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the works of your hands. Isaiah chapter 11, um, 12, 1 to 6. The Lord is my strength and my song. You will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord. For though you were angry with me, your anger turned away, that you might comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, proclaim what, that his name is exalted, sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, inhabitants of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. John twenty fifteen to 20. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She supposing, she, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I'll take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, to say teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me. For I have not yet ascended to my father, but to go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had been seeing the Lord, and that he had spoken these things to her. The, apo the apostles commissioned. Then the same day that at evening, being the first day in the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. 